YouTube, Nandor690 here, and I'm coming at you with another video for the uh, Apple TV 4. This one is going to be to show you how to install the tvOS browser on the Apple TV 4 and also fix and uh, edit the availability.h header file in Xcode in order to uh, make the build successful. So we'll switch over to my Mac Pro, and the first thing that we'll do is we'll just browse for tvOS browser github and I'll have a link in the description let's try spelling that right guys there we go <clears throat> we'll go to this link right here and we'll make sure that we click HTTPS and then we'll copy this URL and then we'll close this out because we don't need it anymore we'll open up Xcode go to source control check out and then copy that URL right there click next and it will bring you to this screen and you can download it in documents or desktop wherever you wish I'm going to do documents and I'll replace it as always to start fresh to do this with you guys okay we'll go up here we'll click browser if it's not already there click on the Apple TV that you have hooked up and let's go ahead and build it and see what happens and we have a no provisioning profile with a valid signing uh, identi identity error so let's click fix the issue and then all you're going to do here is uh, use your Apple ID you don't need a developer free account or anything special like that it's just your Apple ID go to view accounts click on your Apple ID and then click choose and then it'll give you this error that the uh, identifier is not available so we'll click done and then click on the red error and then click on the red error here again and then just go in between the two dots of common browser delete what you have here and then just put whatever you want just to make sure that it says com dot whatever dot browser and if you already have an identifier from when you did the uh, the uh, when you installed the emulator it should just fix it automatically for you but if not just click fix it and it'll fix it and then you'll notice that the fix it is not down here anymore so we'll go play it again and now you can see that we get two more errors this time for UI web view is not available on tvOS so to fix that go to your hard drive and applications scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to Xcode right click on it and show package content now here <clears throat> I'm gonna show you on this folder I've already done it for each additional folder you can also do this in terminal but for the uh, sake of the uh, video I'm just gonna show you how to do it here but what I'm showing you you're gonna wanna do on every single folder after this and then also with the availability.h file you're also going to need to do this and what you're going to do is right click get info scroll down here to where you get the uh, lock unlock it with your password and then system wheel and everyone just change them all to read write all you do is click on the arrows click read write and do that for all three of them and then lock it and close it back out so you'll do that for every file after this that you see me click into so go to contents Go to Developer, Platforms, Apple TV OS Platform, Developer, SDKs, Apple TV OS SDK, uh, USR, and then Include, and then you'll be at the top, you'll just scroll down just a little bit to this availability.h, make sure you change the permissions on this like I showed you, double click on it there may be a lock up here just click on that to unlock it and this allows you to edit this file um, without doing any of that you can't edit the file and therefore it'll never build successfully so once you do that we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom 
and then come back up just a little bit to where we see TVOS. TVOS unavailable and TVOS prohibited are the two lines you're looking for. Just click right in front of the E, put an underscore, put on your cap locks, and then just type in not quite. And then you'll do the same thing right here for prohibited. Type in not quite. And that's it. Just go up to file, save, and then close out of that. And then come back here. Make sure you're on browser and then your Apple TV that's plugged in. Make sure you're not on the simulator, which would be this right here. Make sure you're on your Apple TV. Click play. And now you will see that it will build successfully. You may get a warning here, but don't worry about that. It's not going to affect it. Uh, and don't worry about that error. And it's finished running a browser on my living room Apple TV. So there you go, guys. That's all you need to do. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll check you guys later.